Hey everyone, this is Benno from Night Laser. You're listening to the Brutally Delicious Podcast. I'm a laser head. <laughs> is that crazy stuff or what? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. We, we've been all over the place today, but it's been a good day, so. Yeah. Black metal, glam metal. Yeah, I guess it's glam metal. Very weird, but. New metal. New metal, yeah. And Night Laser should be uh, quite an interesting one, so. Hey, you're listening to the Brutally Delicious Podcast. I am Bruce. I'm Chris! You can tell it's been a long, long day of podcasting. For who? <laughs> so if you're listening to this today we've got night laser these guys are in germany they're uh i guess a glam band chris go ahead and sing uh, part of that song for me i'm a laser head i'm a laser head well well there we go i don't even know what to say after that uh, <laughs> if you hang tight we'll go ahead and get them on the line and see what they have to say all right let's do it all right let's do it well, I'm Bruce. That's my partner, Chris. Hi, how are you? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Uh, this is Benno speaking, and yeah, and I'm Rob. Nice to hear you. <laughs> nice to hear you as well. How is it? You're over in Germany, right? Yeah, right. right. Late in the evening there? Uh, it's half past seven, so it's not, oh, bad, not too bad. So no, not too bad. So roughly beer o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, exactly beer. Exactly beer. <laughs> nice. Oh, I heard the clinking. That's nice. Yeah, my my my, uh, my favorite times of the day are beer thirty and beer o'clock. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thanks for joining us. For those uh, not familiar with uh, Night Laser, how would you describe the band? Um. Well, it's basically. Um, well, we call it a heavy glam metal band, but it's basically somewhere in between glam metal and hard rock. Right. Um, so we've got like a, a touch of a glammy um, visual style, but the music is um, somewhere in between heavy metal and hard rock, actually. Some power metal. metal. Some power metal in there as well. Um, it's a four-piece band, so classical, classic rock setup, you know, uh, lead vocals, one guitar, one bass, uh, one drummer. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, actually. <laughs> I, just, I just watched the video for Laserhead, and I can't stop singing the damn song. I, I, <laughs> I, I was even going to Bruce when he, when he called in. I'm a laser head. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so glad to hear. Yes, he's totally been singing, and you don't want to. You don't want to hear him sing anymore. So we need to ask more questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you guys are writing music, are you guys writing like all together, or are you writing separately and then meeting up and or sending things together? Well, it's um, in 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 the past. It used to be like that. That our former guitarist. Um, he used to write the music, and um, him and I together used to write um, the lyrics, or I, I wrote the lyrics myself. Yeah. Um, and now that um, he left the band, um, we're changing that process and we want to get, like, um, do it in the, in the classic way to get, like, the whole band into the rehearsal room and write everything all together because that's, like, most fun and I think that's the most interesting way to write music. Okay. I, I 100% agree. I think it ends up sounding more organic, and it's uh, you notice the difference in the end. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Also, there is a lot of unused potential that we have in the band, like especially with a new guitar player, the drummer as well, who did not contribute so far to the songwriting. Um, mm -hmm. I myself did barely do it, so so um, I think there's plenty for us to do in the in the future to work together. Right, that makes sense. Absolutely, Chris. What? What um, prompted you guys to kind of go down the glam metal, at least visual style? Um, that's hard to say, actually. I, I don't know. It was kind of, uh, there was never a question about it. We just, we discovered the music at some point, And then we said, that's like, that's the music that we love. And then we just did that. So uh, we never actually 
talked about that much. It was just something. No, it was like pretty clear from the beginning that we were going to do that. Yeah, that's true. There was some kind of trial and error process regarding the the actual outfits as well, yeah. like the the actual style. <laughs> 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 but like when we, when we started, it was like very uh, almost seventies glammy, you know, like yeah. with um. <laughs> fur coats and stuff like that and, and like intense feminine makeup and now it's getting more into like 80s Judas Priest kind of style you know with this more leather right. more jeans more black in there more heavy metal actually yeah. some spandex yes yeah. that's my era I grew up with that kind of stuff so I, I totally dig it uh, that's good to hear <laughs> trust cool. me yeah. man, you don't want to see Bruce in spandex no you don't want to see me in spandex but <laughs> Especially not now, anyway. But in the uh, in past, you know, I may have donned a, a nice pair of spandex. <laughs> well, I think everyone could have one in this cupboard. Yeah, yeah. I may or may not have had a banana in my trousers as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that we never had. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I believe you. There's probably something going on. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> you could be honest. <laughs> Okay, we've all done it once, it right? It wasn't a banana, it was a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice, we're already down the wrong path here. Yeah. What do you guys have planned touring-wise? Are you guys going to be doing any touring? Uh, we are, actually. Um, like, the first longer tour we're going to do, do this year will be in April. Um, it's going to take us through Central Europe, mostly. Um, together with one of our very good friends, um, like another, bra another band from the United Kingdom. Um, they're called Kikamora. We've been over there to tour with them a couple of times. They've been to Germany before, and it's always really, really amazing trip to to be on the road with those guys. So that's going to be like eleven shows, I think, mm -hmm. uh, in April, like all back to back. So that's going to be kind of um, yeah. They're, <laughs> from, they're from the UK, you said. Um, no, it's not going to be in the UK. Um, we, we go. We come back to the UK in, in June. For three fest, uh, three shows in um, England and one festival in Scotland. Um, but with those guys, we'll be in the Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany. And yeah, yeah I guess that's it. Yeah. Is it going to be a lot more difficult to tour in the UK with Brexit happening? I hope not. <laughs> oh, hopefully not. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it's going to be. For, for, for German bands to go to England, I don't think that that much will change for us. What I think is that it will be harder for British bands, for, 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 for UK to bands, over, to come over to our, uh, to our countries yeah. And, yeah. and play here. As far as I've heard, we'll, we'll see within the next month what will happen. Yeah, I was, yeah. Just, I was curious about that because like, we, we, we've talked to quite a few bands from Europe today. And like yeah. they all say, oh, it's just so easy to tour because you can just go anywhere. Yeah, and, it really is. Yeah, yeah. And, and play, and there's not any like you can cross the border to another country and play, and no one's gonna get in your face about anything. Yeah. So I was just curious about that when you brought up the UK. I was like, I wonder how that's gonna change the touring landscape of Europe, or or if it will. Yeah, it probably will. Yeah, but I think I think like till the end of the year twenty one, nothing is gonna happen. In fact, like, um, isn't it like that? Final? Yeah, at, at least, at least um, for this year, not that much is going to happen. You know, they are going to leave um, officially by the end of um, January, and then there's like this tran transition phase from from transition period to transition like period end of from next year till the end of next year. With not that much is going to happen, they'll have. No, uh, they will talk about the rules and what's going to change, but I don't think that we'll be. A, at least this year, we won't be affected by it. Well, that's cool. I mean, I don't want to take this conversation down a serious route at all. But it was just <laughs> when you bring that when when that comes up, my brain was like, I wonder what that's going to be like because it, it could really put a, a thorn in a lot of band sides. You know, if they yeah. if they don't have the freedom of movement to get into the UK, I mean, it's a huge market. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, or even out of the no, UK. Yeah, people are so friendly. Mm. Believe it or not. But, oh. Sorry, believe it or not, but um, but food and drinks is delicious over there. I yeah. would say. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we love to come back. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, I think what we have to do is uh, get over there as many times as possible before they cross the border or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. What about any? Are you? Do you guys have any American tour plans? 
Not yet, unfortunately. You know, probably it's just like it's a really big deal for us to come over, and um, yeah, then we'd have need to have like some solid reason to get there, like a festival or something, um, to make it really worth the trip. Um, so up to now, unfortunately, no. Would be amazing to have some kind of buy on slot maybe on a yeah. on an American tour for an American well known band. Since right. we've never been over there, it would be kind of hard for us to really attract an audience. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm just curious because I, I, to be honest, today was the first day I've ever heard of your band, <laughs> and, and I'm already a laserhead. So I just wanted to. <laughs> oh, amazing! Nice. Thank you. I just wanted to see if there's any chance I could see you guys live. Well, either you'll be, you'll have to be very patient about that, or you just come over. <laughs> no, I, I, thought, like, I thought you were going to say, if you're a true laser head, you'd get on a plane and come see us play. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> that, that well. Bruce? Are you guys writing any new material, and can we expect anything, uh, anything new? You can definitely expect something new, um, which has been written already. We have been to the studio last year. Uh, recorded our uh, then third album, which is bound to be released in April or May. Yeah, we we're, were planning to for for April. For April. Yeah. yeah. So that's like twelve brand new tracks that no one has ever heard before, with two exceptions of songs that we have live already. Live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're like, really looking forward to that. We already uh, shot three videos for that one. Artwork is almost ready. So wow, going to come pretty soon. Yeah. The whole so package is ready to busy. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we also got um, a, a guest musician on that on that album as well, in one of the singles. Who I is, won't tell you who it is. <laughs> who is <laughs> no, it? No, no, no. Not yet, no. Oh, you not can't yet. lay not that either. out there <laughs> and leave us in the dark. That's brutal. Yeah. Well, it's brutally delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for the plug. I knew that was coming. Beautiful. <laughs> Bruce. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else um what else you got, Chris? Well, it looks like you guys tour a lot. Like I was just going through your tour itinerary and it looks like you're playing like what 150 shows a year somewhere in there. Uh no, no. This year it's up to now. I've got like around 60. 60? 60 yeah. planned. Yeah. yeah. Um there are uh, some um, some smaller tourists, um, and there are also there are a lot of festivals this year, which is pretty pretty nice because we love festivals. I think everybody does, um, and we're still working on getting getting more on the bill. Um, it's especially in October and November. There's not that much going on up till now. Still some, some, so some some space left, yeah, for more shows. Cool. Nice. So you guys are really organized. I mean, you're planning like a year in advance. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, we have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess if you want to make a living at music, right, you have to run it like a business. Yeah, well, we, we would love to be able to make a living out of it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so far, not the case, no. yeah. but we're working pretty hard to get there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, nowadays, you have to. It's not the same as it was, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. But we do, we, we are pretty, um, pretty strict with ourselves when it comes to. Handling the band like a business, you know, we, I, I would say we are pretty well organized, even though we're in a rock and roll band. We even pay all our taxes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> what kind of glam metal band is that? Paying taxes. <laughs> Not even Willie Nelson paid his taxes. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> But that's it. So I'm glad. I mean, I'm glad somebody is carrying the torch for uh, for the old school sort of glam metal and still keeping the uh, you know the faith alive because a lot of the trend has gone towards the heavier, more yeah. extreme stuff, and that's very cool to see you guys doing that sort of thing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. It's, it's really lots of fun to do it. Yeah. Like I wouldn't want to change it for anything in the world. To be honest. Right. And it's pretty nice to hear uh, like the. Um, like what you what you just said, you know, um, that happens pretty pretty often after concerts that people walk up to us and say, hey, "It's really cool that there are people like like us who do that kind of music and who um, are influenced by all the the '80s bands and 
still keep that going because it would be a shame if nobody would do that music anymore. Oh yeah, I hundred percent agree. I mean, I like the heavier stuff too, but it's nice to uh, you know that's my roots. That's where I grew up listening to, and so there's a special place for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's kind too. of like like a, like a little revival of that kind of music going on in Europe right now. So mm. I think it's oh, really? ha- I think it's happening here too. Honestly, yeah. you know, like there's a band. What's that band from New York that we interviewed? Wild Street. Oh what? yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. Cool. Yeah. yeah, cool, great. I think they're coming. Like they're coming over this year, next year to to, to Europe. Yeah, I saw that they have a thing coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric's That's a pretty great. S- Eric's a great guy. He was, yeah, he was an awesome interview, and his the band is just killer. And you yeah. know, you're starting to see tours like. Uh, like the Def Leppard, Motley Crue, Poison oh Tour. Oh my God! Yes, that's a killer. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they won't do that tour in Europe, and that, that really bumps me out. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking about going here in DC, but the tickets are they are pricey. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I believe oh, so. Yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous, actually. I, I think I, when I looked into it, it was like 300 bucks for the cheapest seat I could find in there. What? Ah. So I was like, oh, that is... I don't know. Well, I don't know if there's cheaper tickets. tickets. That's all I could find when I looked. Oh, they did pay the band like one, 150 million, didn't they? So yes. they have to like, make up yes. for it somehow. Yeah, they got to recoup that for sure. Yeah. And they oh, got to put on the, the rock and roll drum set for Tommy Lee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Well, they have the roller coaster on the last year, so now they need to have like a space shuttle or anything like that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I think I paid three hundred fifty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. How much did you get paid for I this tour? Them. Forty million. Okay. <laughs> nice. I mean, today I saw the lineup for the. Uh, is it like the M three Melodic Rock Festival or something like that? Oh yeah, that's just up the road here. Yeah, that lineup was Incredible insane lineup. as well with uh, Kicks, Night Ranger, Striper, Red. Yeah. Tesla. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, cool. well, I got yeah, that's... I got to look at this cuz it's like literally like 45 minutes from my house. Yeah, it's right in our backyard and I've never gone. I need to get over there. Wow. You guys I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kick Slaughter, Heaven's Edge. Oh, yeah, um, oh yeah. Mike Tramp from White Lion. Yeah. Tesla. Uh, Accept YNT Faster Pussycat, LA Guns. Oh. Yes. Rat. Oh my God. So many good bands. Anyways, we're here, we're here to talk about your May, band. Isn't it? We should hit up the guy from Kicks, Bruce. That oh yeah, Brian Forsyth. Brian? We interviewed him for, that was a great interview a couple weeks back. Yeah, see if oh, he'll yeah. get, get I listened his to that one. Yeah. Oh, well, see, somebody yeah. listens anyway. That's Thank good. Thank God somebody <laughs> listens to this thing. Check out what we're running into. <laughs> that's beautiful we got one listener then that's great sweet okay uh i don't have anything else bruce do you before you go bruce always asks this question but i'm gonna ask it is a hot dog a sandwich no um, i wouldn't say so no no <laughs> who, who would say yes who, who says yes to that Everyone says yes to that oh we've had no. we've had really in-depth discussions Woo-hoo. it's very obvious we interviewed a guy. We we interviewed a, a band last week, and he went into the whole detail about like if the bun is joined, it's not a sandwich. <laughs> but, as, <laughs> but as soon as the bun's not joined, it is a sandwich. So you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I could agree on that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a dumb question, Chris. <laughs> it's Bruce's I question. All right, so then one more for you, and then we're really oh, going to go. God. Is a cereal a soup? A soup? <laughs> <laughs> no, not not for me. It's not. No. I mean, what's the, what's the difference, right? It's stuff floating in liquid. It's got to be a soup. It's cold, though. You wouldn't yeah, eat soup it's when cold. it's cold. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can't you eat Russian soup, that borscht or whatever it's called? Yeah, this, but it's like, that, that's, that's more of a stew than a soup. Oh, oh. now you burn <laughs> cereal, I think. <laughs> so then we need to rephrase it. Is cereal a stew? <laughs> it's not cooked. That, I think it's not, nice. it's not cooked at all. But, oh, but what if it's honey roasted Cheerios? Because then they are cooked. 
<laughs> Maybe it's more like a, like a T. Uh, oh, there you go. It's a T. It's a T. <laughs> That's all I've got, guys. I appreciate you taking the time. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Oh, well, thank you much the we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank all right, you thanks. so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.